We're back, baby. This is my first trip to Europe since before COVID. Ironically, my last European flight in March of 2020 was this exact trip. Three day trip, fly from Newark to Zurich and stay for 24 hours and then fly back. If you're planning an international trip, I wanted to give you three tips on how to beat jet lag and make the most of your time overseas. Tip number one, don't sleep too much. If I had been a passenger last night and slept on the airplane, I wouldn't be going to sleep right now. I'd be going straight out into the city to explore, but because I was flying all night, I need to take a little rest. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna set an alarm clock and I'll tell you why. Waking up to an alarm clock is a big shock for your body. So if you drink a lot of water before you go to sleep, your body's gonna naturally wake you up in about 90 minutes to go to the bathroom. And as long as you don't fall back asleep afterwards, you should be set for the day. Good night. Tip number two, coffee, and lots of it. Europe has some amazing cafes. Go spend an hour or two at a local coffee shop and immerse yourself in local culture. If you can't do that, drink hotel coffee. Oh, that's not good. That is much better than hotel coffee. Tip number three is get out. Stay out till about 9 p.m. if you can and just keep moving, get out and explore, talk to locals, figure out the layout of the city, and if you're in Zurich, you can do what we're doing and go on a boat tour. to the little town of Rapperswil and I tell you what as hard as it was to get up after sleeping for only an hour and a half getting out and seeing this cute little storybook town it's totally worthwhile I mean it's like straight out of Disney about 8 30 right now I am exhausted but I'm gonna sleep great tonight and if you follow this little plan that I put together you will too um, I will say that you'll probably wake up around 2 a.m. and not be able to go back to sleep so I usually take a melatonin um, for me I take three milligrams um, that helps me not to get to sleep but helps me to stay asleep so Thanks for coming along on this layover. I hope these tips help you on your next international trip. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when I post future videos. By the way, the stuff on my face, I didn't get in a fight, although that'd be cool to say. Um, it's from the dermatologist. Have an awesome day. See ya.